You're right everyone, Dan Central here, and uh, welcome to a new collection video. I am so annoyed right now. Um, I know obviously you guys have no idea what I'm about to, to, to say and why I'm annoyed because you haven't seen it, but um, I just recorded the whole thing downstairs in my conservatory as normal. Brilliant, went really well. Uh, went to export it onto my software to edit and uh, download and uh, get onto YouTube and um, it just wouldn't do it. Kept on saying error, um, didn't want to know. Um, the, the desktop was saying error, the laptop was saying error downloading image. It, I lost it basically. So um, I'm going to just have to quickly go through these again because I haven't got that long before people come back and I'm going to have to stop this video anyway. So because they're going to probably be back at any point, um, I better smash through these quickly, um, probably more so than I did before. Um, it did go on a little bit before anyway, so let's just go through it. Basically, film soundtrack collection. Showing this because I've got quite a lot. Would love to hear your thoughts, guys. If there's any fellow film soundtrack fans out there, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, I love film music, obviously. I've spoken to people about it in the past. For me, you know, when a lot of people are looking at the back of DVDs and watching trailers and trying to, you know, decide on whether they want to see the film based on the plot line and who's in it and the characters, for me, the music tends to take more priority. You know, if it's if it's been done by one of my favourite film composers, that will generally, you know, um, do it for me as opposed to even what the film's about. So, you know, really, really massive fan. So, first one, guys, is uh, American Beauty. Don't haven't seen the film, um, but one of my friends said to me one day, uh, who lives in London. Um, can I send you my favourite film soundtrack because I'd love for you to hear it too and I was like yeah of course you can so that's what came through um, love it I think it's a beautiful soundtrack the strings are great in there it's almost like a, I think it's like a xylophone that plays in it as well um, Dead Already um, is a great piece of music from that film as well and also Angela Undress as well you can hear the main theme in there really great soundtrack Back to the Future no soundtrack or soundtrack collection should be kind of there without Back to the Future what can I say you know absolute classic films it's a trilogy as well so it's got tracks of all three films um it's played by the royal scottish national orchestra though so it's not the official soundtrack that came with the films themselves but it's a great version nonetheless played by you know an awesome orchestra um basically the tracks from back to the future one and two are from the uh royal scottish national orchestra the third one however back to the future three them tracks on here are actually taken from the original soundtrack so that's pretty cool uh, and also track 20 back to the future the ride there was a ride based on Back to the Future um, somewhere in America, it Orlando, Florida, somewhere I was reading up about. I might have that wrong, actually. Um, and basically what they did was they took the music from that ride and stuck it on this CD. And apparently from what I've read, if I'm right, it's only available on this CD. So even for that alone, it's pretty decent to have that from an actual ride based on the film. Bicentennial Man. What a film. Starring the late Robin Williams, who was an absolute master. Um, just a genius in terms of acting. Um, and composed by my favourite film composer, James Horner. Um, what can I say? Absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing film. If you haven't seen this, guys, watch it. It was one of Robin Williams' best films, in my opinion. Um, just gorgeous. Pictures there of the robot and stuff. Um, it's about a robot that basically uh, goes on a journey to try and pursue his dream of becoming a human being and living his life out as a human being. It's an amazing film, guys. You have to watch it. One of Robin Williams' best. Up there with Mrs Doubtfire, Good Morning Vietnam. Um, and um, yeah, loads of other films that he was in that were just absolutely amazing. Contact, again, I haven't seen the film, but um, love the soundtrack. I'd heard it on YouTube quite a bit, so I already had an idea of the soundtrack, and it's beautiful. Guys, you have to watch the film with me. I haven't seen it either, but you have to listen to the soundtrack, guys. It's gorgeous. Contact, Forrest Gump, Tom Hanks. Life is like a box of chocolates. Love it. Really, really love it. Um, composed by Alan Silvestri. Um, great, great composer as well. Um, and I've also got, this is the original motion picture score, as opposed to the, uh, there's another version that's more well known that's out there where you don't have as much of the score. Um, but this is like the really kind of detailed uh, score version, if you like. Um, so I'm really chuffed to have that because I think it's a bit more expensive and not as common as the other version. So when you tend to type it in Amazon, um, Forrest Gump soundtrack, you don't tend to get this version come up, so really chuffed to have that. Gladiator, well, you know, what a film. Russell Crowe, fantastic film. It's got the classic um, track on there, Now We Are Free, sung by Lisa Gerrard. And again, you know, picture from the film. The whole thing doubles out into loads of pictures from the film. Um, you know, it spreads out, which is great. I love the fact that soundtracks do that. Again, I just don't want to waste too much time. 
Men in Black, Will Smith and, uh, ooh, what's his name? What's his name? Tommy Lee Jones. Again, what can I say? Great film. Um, I love the fact that, you know, the first 14 tracks are kind of well-known tracks, if you like, from like artists like Alicia Keys and, and that kind of stuff, Snoop Dogg. And then the last two tracks are actually orchestral, you know, from the actual film played by the orchestra. So that's awesome too. Um, the other thing is, guys, I've also got a version of Men in Black, which is like a promo copy. It's not for resale. Um, there's only two tracks on it, so I don't know how rare it is. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a promo copy. Um, so I saw that in a charity shop as well, along with this one. And obviously Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith are on that one. But only Will Smith's on that one. So I don't know if any of you guys can enlighten me. Is it rare? Is it much to shout about? If not, doesn't matter. I love it anyway. It's got the album version and then the master mix on it. Yeah, enlighten me. If you know what that is and if it's rare at all, let me know. It'd be great to hear that. Matrix Revolutions. Great soundtrack. Again, I love the, the sound on this, um, on the films themselves, you know, the kind of the futuristic, electric, electronic sort of kind of sound. Love that. Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Lord of the Rings, you know, epic films. If you've got the time to watch them, do. Um, Into the West um, by Annie Lennox is good on there as well. Great stuff. Legends of the Fall. Again, by my favourite composer, James Horner. Um, genius. Absolute genius. Not seen the film. Need to. But beautiful soundtrack. Really is. He's in a bit of the wrong order. Godzilla, the album. Again, a lot of this is sort of tracks that are by sort of artists like Puff Daddy, Jim Choir, Foo Fighters, Green Day. Um, but then you've also got um, the two tracks at the end by David Arnold, who did the orchestral stuff at the end. So, again, this, is more, this wasn't the remake. This was sort of the original Godzilla, the album. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Composed by the awesome John Williams, who did Jurassic Park and E.T. and Hook. Great music. Love it. Just love it. Again, pictures you can see from the film. Got Dumbledore there. Ooh. These are coming apart. Ooh. There we go. Uh, Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. Love this film. As well as the sequel as well. Love it. Grew up watching this film. It's a Walt Disney film. It's about two dogs and a cat that need to find their way home. And their journey. The Haunting. Oh, one of my favourite films. The 1999 remake though this is. By Jan de Bont. Um, starring Catherine Zeta jones Liam Neeson, Lily Taylor and Owen Wilson. About a haunted house. Um, Liam Neeson invites them all to kind of take part in almost like a, um, an experiment on sleep deprivation and insomnia. Because um, he reckons there's nothing wrong with the house. But he wants to see how they're... Um, feelings play out and stuff and then as the film progresses you realise actually even Liam Neeson didn't bargain for what's going to happen throughout the film even he starts to wonder if actually everything is all, is all that it seems or not so great film, great film some of these are in the wrong order but oh well yeah they are in the wrong order oh well it is what it is my dog skip one of my favourite films, if not possibly even arguably my favourite, about a little dog, little Jack Russell, because I've got a Jack Russell as well, starring Frankie Muniz from the Malcolm in the Middle um, TV TV show. Uh, he's also in Agent, Agent Cody Banks as well. Yeah, oh, it's based on the classic true story of Willie Morris, and uh, it's just about obviously he gets a dog as a present one day. And it's the adventures that he goes on with it. And uh, I cannot listen to the last track or even watch the last scene in the film without crying. I've tried it so many times and I can't do it. So there you go. Mission Impossible. Legend film. The theme is so recognisable. You've only got to hear the first little bit and you know what it is. This is a CD single so it's got remixes on it as well. You know, you've got as well as the, the actual radio main theme as you know it. You've also got the Junior Hards mix edit. 
you've got the um, Dave Clark remix and other things as well. So that's cool to have. Uh, these are all in the wrong order now because I've had to redo this and I've put them all back in the wrong order. Um, seven, Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman. Again, not seen it. But uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of the tracks are from just like artists like Marvin Gaye and Billie Holiday, Charlie Parker, Thelonious Monk. Um, but then you've also got the suite from Seven as well, where it's the orchestral stuff right at the end. So that's good to have too. Um, so yeah, that's... Oh, really? Seven. Spider-Man. Again, the original, not the Amazing Spider-Man, even though I love the music to the Amazing Spider-Man because it's done by James Horner. But this isn't that one. I love that comic book kind of effect. These soundtracks hate me. I think it's because I've had to do them again. Spider-Man 2. So basically I've got 1 and 2. Love it. Love it. And again, comic book kind of effect. Simon Birch, love this film guys, stars Joseph Mazzello, who was in, um, that's how you pronounce his name, he was in Jurassic Park and also Radio Flyer, if you've not heard of Radio Flyer, check it out. Um, again, the music on this by Mark Shaman is just uh, gorgeous. Um, I want to go into more detail but I don't want to waste too much time. If any of you guys want me to go into any more detail in any of these, let me know and I can do some separate videos. Underworld, not seen it, but again cool to have and again a lot of these are in charity shops they're only a couple of quid so it was a case of like you know extending my film soundtrack collection as well Tomb Raider the original again decent obviously the video game you, everyone knows the video game PS1 Dreamcast etc um, you've got Oxide and Neutrino on here Outcast Missy Elliott The Chemical Brothers U2 Basement Jacks Groove Armada so it's pretty Cool selection of tracks on there. And then, uh, no, the next part of this that I have managed to get off my phone will have World Trade Center to finish. Um, but to finish this part, Titanic. Titanic, um, legendary soundtrack. Gorgeous, I love it, beautiful. Strings, choirs, um, even the brass in it as well. Just, yeah, what can I say really? Um, yeah, 1997 it was a box office smash. Um, everyone knows the film. Everyone's seen it pretty much. Um, you know, it's you know it's all about the disaster that happened in, in 1912. It was it was described as unsinkable, so they didn't have many lifeboats. Then it sank, so so many lives were lost, so many because they didn't have enough lifeboats. But there we are. And then they also did a. Uh, another album as well back to Titanic because they created so much music it ended up spanning two albums and then also Robin Gibb of the Bee Gees before he died one of his most recent projects he actually did his own Requiem based on the series of events from Titanic beautiful and his original song he did on here that he sings Don't Cry Alone listen to it because it's very heart-wrenching and obviously now he's passed away as well it's really really heart-wrenching um, but the Requiem is awesome he composed it the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra performed it, and it's just exquisite. It really is. Um, and obviously, these are, these are the film. This isn't really necessarily to do with the film as such, but these are. Obviously, Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On's on this as well, the famous track. Um, in fact, the version of it on here, My Heart Will Go On, actually includes dialogue from the film as the song's playing as well. So, interesting version. And that's it, guys. World Trade Center will be in the next part that I've managed to get off um, my phone. So, yeah, it's a bit quicker than the, the version I did before. But, um, yeah, basically I um, couldn't get it off my phone. It kept saying error. So, hope you've enjoyed the, the, the video, guys. Um, I'm going to show you the next bits now with World Trade Center and stuff. Um, the great thing about, um, you know, soundtracks as well is that they give you lots of inlay stuff. You know, especially like Titanic, you've got, like stuff there even give you a poster it's not gone on my wall don't worry <laughs> um, because I've always had it in the CD because otherwise you'll just be looking at it like that otherwise 
Um, so there we are, guys. If any of those have stuck out for you, let me know. And uh, let's, let's have a chat about them. Otherwise, World Trade Center, I'm just about to show that. Um, a few other compilation albums. And then I'm, I'm then going to quickly go through with you guys a great deal I got, a bargain, in fact, that I got from one of my friends that I bought some of these soundtracks off of. And uh, then um, I'll leave it there. This is the last film soundtrack I'm going to show. Absolutely gorgeous soundtrack. And that's from the World Trade Center. Um, again, you know, everyone knows about, you know, the the events of 9-11 and how absolutely devastating it was um, and how just shocking the whole thing was. Um, and this film does a great job of kind of telling that story and um, the music by Craig Armstrong, who again is another one of my favourites, um, just because he does such a great job of, of the music that he creates. Um, He's done also, he did the Incredible Hulk, um, he did the Walking Away theme, um, and he's also done a lot of music to the film Love Actually, he did a lot of the piano stuff in Love Actually, like the Glasgow love theme, Portuguese love theme, the Prime Minister's theme, etc. Um, he just does a great job. He really does a great job with the music that he produces. And one of his famous tracks, Weatherstorm, um, I'm sure if you put that into YouTube you'd recognise it. Again, it's just a great um, uh, piece of music. And a lot, a lot of his tracks actually even feature on TV, like even like in X Factor and stuff, when there's like moments where people are waiting to, sounds really cheesy, waiting to hear if they got through or not. They sort of do put sort of sort of um, tracks, a lot of his have been used actually in those kind of um, situations as well. But yeah, World Trade Center, the, the music is just gorgeous. The choir that's in the, on the CD, the piano stuff, the cello stuff. It's just out of this world. And again, I can play a few tracks from this on the piano which are actually on my channel. If you go through some of my piano performances that are on the front page of my channel as a playlist, you should see um, I've got some on there. I've got the Ethereal um, Piano Coder and the actual World Trade Center Piano Theme on there as well. And then all I've got now is just some kind of compilation kind of albums. This one is basically uh, the Ultimate Movie Album, which is great because it's got a lot of film music on there on, on two discs. So you haven't got to change the CD. Uh, it's got some really good mix of orchestral and kind of upbeat stuff. So you, one minute you might go from, um, say, Out of Reach by Gabrielle from Bridget Jones' Diary. And then the next minute you're going on to Dead Already from American Beauty. You then might go back to Cosmic Dancer from Billy Elliot. And then you might then suddenly find yourself on The Final Frontier from Star Trek. So really, really great mix of music. And it's all original tracks as well. This one, however, I'm not actually a fan of. I bought it thinking it was sort of original tracks. It's not, it's kind of, doesn't even sound like it's been done necessarily by a, an actual natural orchestra. It's more like it's been done on like a synthesizer or like on a computer. It's not brilliant. I'm not a fan of this one. I thought it'd be all right and actually realised it wasn't. So it's not really for me, but it's there now anyway. So there we go, guys. That is my film soundtrack collection. It's been an epic two parts. I've actually split it into two parts, as you've seen. Um, so apologies, it's been... Um, so long guys what I'm going to do I'm just going to quickly go through so now I said to you guys that some of these soundtracks apart from the ones that I got in charity shops and the one that I got sent by a different friend in London for free there's about seven that I showed you that another friend actually sold to me and I'm just going to go through something really really interesting that I think well I think it's interesting anyway with you guys really quickly before I end the video now, seven of these soundtracks my mate sold to me for five pounds each. Now, just to give you an idea, they most of them range from between sort of, I worked out what, by doing some online research, roughly between about sort of 15 pounds and about 40 pounds, roughly. Um, so basically, um, Back to the Future, the trilogy, by Centennial Man, Contact, Forrest Gump, My Dog Skip, and Simon Birch. These roughly go for between sort of, roughly about 15 and, and 40 quid. Um, some of them are quite sort of in the top end, which is really good for me because I only paid a fiver for each of these. So that in itself, I thought was obviously pretty good. So I was quite happy with that, you know. I said to my mate, how much do you want for it? And he was like, I just call it a fiver each. And I was like, Sweet. I already had an idea that I'd be saving money anyway, but then when I did some research and realised it was quite a bit, it was pretty good for me. When you add all that up, it's really cool. So that in itself is, is, is great. But it gets better. 
This soundtrack, Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey, is apparently fairly rare. Now, went on eBay and typed this in. It doesn't come up anywhere. At least it didn't when I tried it. It does not come up anywhere. You get the film, you get the sequel film, because there's a second film. Um, and also, you can even get the sequel soundtrack, because that's more common, and that's only about 15 quid, so I can easily pick that up anyway. The first one, though, soundtrack-wise, you can't. At least I couldn't when I looked on eBay. So I went on Amazon. Four came up. How much do you think they went for? Shall I tell you the, I think, the, the most expensive one? £105. And to tell you the cheapest one, roughly about £95. I only paid a fiver for this, and yet it's worth between £95 and £105. Because apparently it's rare, and it's quite scarce. So for me, can you imagine, it was just like, seriously? So basically, if he'd sold me the second sequel soundtrack, and I tried to get hold of this one, it would cost me about £105. But luckily it's the other way around. I've got this one, so if I want to get the sequel soundtrack, Homeward Bound 2, it's only about £15, because that's more common. So this CD that I'm holding in my hand is about £105, and I only paid a fiver for it. That is the biggest bargain I have had to date. You know, people sell my gaming videos, I've paid this, and that's a bargain. That is a bargain. That is a bargain. Wow, I saved like a hundred pounds basically. I don't know if my friend even knows that, but yeah, I paid a fiver for it, and it's about hundred and five pounds roughly. I think if you spend ninety five, it's it's sort of quite a used copy. But if you want a fairly new copy that's sort of in this sort of condition, that I've got it because my friend's you know has really looked after this, um, then it's about hundred and five. So I don't know if he's really aware of that, but uh, yeah, for me that's just awesome. So basically. These seven soundtracks cost me £35, but when you add up how much they're really worth up, you're going way into the hundreds. You're probably looking at like, um, you're probably looking about at least, at least £250 to £300, something like that. But yeah, I bought, I paid them, I paid like 300 I, I paid, what? I paid £35 for them, so... Just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm really stoked about that. That's the biggest bargain that I've had to date. So there we go. There's my collection. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry it spanned two parts. It's gone on for a while. I've been doing a lot of videos lately. So yeah, all good. So thanks very much, guys. Let me know what you think of my collection. I think if there's a specific soundtrack that I've held up that you guys were like, yeah, great film. Great to have that. Let me know what you think. Post underneath. Great to hear your thoughts, guys. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in another video very soon.